We bought this bar in 2015 with the intention of setting it up for liquid, which we did straight off the bat for liquid nitrogen and trace elements predominantly. But it has also led us to be able to trial liquid fungicides and get uh, on-farm results and uh, see what, how far we can push our crops. So here we have our two seed lines. Well, fertilizer is the black line, which comes down the deepest. And the green one here is our seed, comes out the back. We have a split of usually uh, two inches between the granular fertilizer and the seed. And also tucked in here, we have our liquid line, which goes down, comes out with, down deep with the uh, liquid, uh, with the granular fertilizer. And that was where we were putting our liquid fungicide, nitrogen, liquid nitrogen and trace elements. The reason we started using liquid fungicides was predominantly because of rhizoctonia. We've known it to be an issue in our area and we just needed something, or we're looking for anything to help us control it and improve our root health and structure in the soil. And this, this setup here that we started with definitely proved that. So as we continued on this journey, we kept looking at more and more research and everything was pointing in the direction of a dual band above and below the seed offers better protection. So that led us into the next modification we made, which was here we have another stream that comes out behind the press wheel. So the seed is now covered and this puts out another stream of fungicide on top of the, uh, the soil in a constant stream to help protect, protect the uh, crown roots as they emerge later. And we are seeing results from that. So this is the first season we have done with this uh, application above the seed. We are seeing results out in the paddock where the rhizoctonia isn't as predominant as where we only did it below the seed. So we are very interested to see what the results will be come harvest time because there is a visual result when you dig up the plant. So we're hoping it will equate to an extra yield, but at this stage it's definitely a healthier plant. To get all our liquids out in the paddock, seeding time, we needed to develop a rig that would uh, allow us to do all these trials and get the liquid where we need them. Let's go have a look at that. Here we have our uh, air seeder cart, which used to be only a granular 12,000 litre hopper. But when we decided we were going liquid, we had my uncle, who's an engineer, build all the frame for the tanks and to be able to carry this uh, pump system, which we bought and retrofitted. And uh, here we actually have two pumps. We've got the main pump for going down deep and we've got a spiker unit for our uh, trace elements. We also have three liquid tanks on here. The bigger 5,000 litre one here takes our UIN and we mix our fungicide in with it. We also have a smaller one for trace elements because they only go at a lighter rate and then we have a thousand litre fresh water tank. The way we've got this set up, this covers our application uh, below the seed with the fungicide fertiliser and trace elements. We have another tank that we tow behind the back which was an old spray car which we added to this year to do the second application of fungicide above the seed. So that's what's got us excited and that's what we're looking forward to seeing what we can find out this year. The reason we've done all this and done all the modifications to the air seeder and uh, box was to improve our root health and plant health and reduce uh, rhizoctonia levels. And uh, in the first year we uh, did this in 2015, our wheat averaged 2.7 tonne to the hectare. We saw a uh, 750 kilo increase in yield where we'd uh, put the uh, fungicide out for control and that covered the cost of the upgrades we did to the box with the tanks in the first year. And by the end of the second year, we'd already paid off the cost of the upgrades we had to do to the trucks to get the liquids out the paddock. So what turned in was a five year payoff plan, we covered in two. So that's really exciting. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.